In the future, humanity could decide to build an incredibly complex but brilliantly useful piece of infrastructure, a space elevator. Let's explore what this could potentially look like. Chapter 1. The concept of a space elevator. The idea of a space elevator has captivated scientists and science fiction enthusiasts for decades. The concept is simple. A cable anchored to the Earth's surface extends into space, allowing cargo and people to travel up and down without the need for rockets. But turning this idea into reality is anything but simple. Let's start with the basics. The space elevator would need to extend from the Earth's surface to a point in geostationary orbit about 35,786 kilometers above the equator. At this altitude, the centrifugal force due to Earth's rotation would balance the gravitational pull, keeping the cable taut. Chapter 2. The Material Challenge the biggest challenge in building a space elevator is the material for the cable. It needs to be incredibly strong and lightweight to support its own weight and the weight of the climbers. Traditional materials like steel and Kevlar simply aren't strong enough. This is where carbon nanotubes come in. Carbon nanotubes are a form of carbon with a cylindrical nanostructure. They are about 100 times stronger than steel and only a fraction of the weight. However, Producing carbon nanotubes of the required length and quality is still a significant challenge. Current technology can produce them only in small quantities and short lengths. Scientists are also exploring other materials, such as graphene, which shares many of the same properties as carbon nanotubes. Advances in nanotechnology and material science are crucial to overcoming this hurdle. Chapter 3. Building the Elevator Assuming we solve the materials challenge, the next step is construction. The process would likely start with deploying a satellite in geostationary orbit. From there, the cable would be gradually extended down to the Earth and upward into space. The construction would need to be meticulously controlled to maintain balance and prevent the cable from snapping. This phase would require advanced robotics, precise engineering, and perhaps even international cooperation. Chapter 4. Powering the Climbers once the cable is in place, specialized vehicles called climbers would travel up and down the elevator. These climbers would be powered by various methods, such as solar energy, laser beaming, or even tethered power lines. Solar panels on the climbers could harness the abundant energy of the sun, especially as they ascend above the Earth's atmosphere. Alternatively, ground-based lasers could beam energy directly to the climbers, providing a continuous power supply. Chapter 5 the benefits. But why go to all this trouble? Well, the benefits of a space elevator are enormous. For starters, it could drastically reduce the cost of sending cargo and people into space. Current rocket launches cost thousands of dollars per kilogram. A space elevator could bring that down to mere hundreds. This cost reduction would revolutionize space exploration and commercialization. Satellites could be deployed more easily, space tourism could become a reality, and it could serve as a launching point for missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. A space elevator could also facilitate scientific research by providing a stable platform for experiments in microgravity. It could enable the construction of large space habitats and even help in asteroid mining by providing an efficient way to transport materials back to Earth. Chapter 6. Challenges and Risks of course, there are significant challenges and risks. The cable would need to withstand extreme weather conditions, orbital debris, and potential sabotage. Regular maintenance and robust safety protocols would be essential to ensure the elevator's reliability and longevity. Engineers are already thinking about ways to mitigate these risks. For example, the cable could be designed to be self-healing, using advanced materials that can repair small damages. Debris tracking systems could help avoid collisions, and the elevator's path could be adjusted if necessary. Chapter 7. Global Collaboration Building a space elevator would require unprecedented levels of international collaboration. The project would be too large and complex for any single nation to undertake alone. Countries, corporations, and space agencies would need to work together, pooling resources and expertise. This collaboration could foster global unity and drive technological advancements that benefit all of humanity. The knowledge and experience gained from building a space elevator could lead to breakthroughs in other fields, from material science to robotics. Chapter 8. 
future possibilities. Looking to the future, the concept of a space elevator isn't limited to Earth. Other planets and moons with lower gravity, such as Mars or the Moon, could also host space elevators. These structures could play a vital role in establishing human colonies and supporting interplanetary travel. Imagine a network of space elevators across the solar system, connecting planets and moons, making space travel as routine as flying from one country to another on Earth. It's a vision that could transform humanity into a truly spacefaring civilization. So, can we build a space elevator? Well, the challenges are immense, but so are the possibilities. With continued advancements in technology and international cooperation, the dream of a space elevator could one day become a reality. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the little bell for more fascinating explorations into the wonders of science and technology. Until next time, keep looking up and dreaming big.